all, I just want to say thank you all for coming. Uh, we are uh, we were all very excited to be here. Luckily, luckily for me, our CEO Gary Sword could not make this. He was originally scheduled to be here, uh, but unfortunately for him, he had some commitments that he had to attend to at home. So, uh, so, so you get the B team today, but uh, I'm very happy to be here. Uh, I love these trips. I love hearing the stories. I love meeting all of you. Uh, many of you I've worked with before on various projects. Uh, so I want to thank you very much for coming. Um, second, I want to thank Judy and Jasmine and the team who pulled this together. Um, you know, as usual, we tapped into the amazing uh, talent that we have uh, in the Philippines to pull all of this together. So I want to give a quick round of applause uh, to Judy and Jasmine and the team for uh, pulling this together. <clears throat> so what I wanted to talk about today is uh, both some of the uh, some of the backdrop on the Philippines' performance within the ODESC uh, online workplace, as well as the future of work in general. Uh, ODESC is dominating the online workspace. Uh, we are larger than all of our competitors combined. Uh, the next largest competitor, we're twice as big as they are, and we're growing twice as fast. And we owe a lot of that to the, the, the great work that you guys are doing. You know, it's amazing that one out of every three, more than one out of every three hours you worked on ODES <laughs> is being worked for by a Filipino contractor. So give yourself a round of applause. <laughs> so I want to play a quick uh, time-lapse video that shows you the growth and, and who's been doing the work over the last couple of years. So we're going to start out way back at the dawn of time. Uh, first quarter of 2004. Uh, so on the, on the vertical axis, we have a number of contractors that are working and they're billing. And on the horizontal axis, we have a number of hours worked. So I'll let this run all the way through, and then uh, I'll talk through what's going on during these different points. I'm on. Two thousand four, now we're in two thousand five, two thousand six, two thousand seven, two thousand eight. All right, now watch this. Here comes the Philippines. <laughs> Sitting here waiting. So having all the raw materials isn't quite enough. You've got to have access. 
access to this world of online work. In the early 90s, the Philippines had one of the lowest penetration rates for uh, phone. So very, you know, relative to the rest of the world, phone penetration 